box? Who's in the box? Uh, what's in the box? Not you give me the what's gun. in the box? Hi everyone, this is Jason Robinson from Illustration by Design. If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. Um, here I do uh, drawing live streams and speed drawings and unboxing videos like this one, the one you're about to see right here. Here I'm about to open up a box from Mike S. Miller from Blacklist Universe. Mike S. Miller is a comic book artist and uh, writer. And uh, inside here we have one of his newest offerings, which I ordered. Eh, when I ordered this about a, about a month ago, I ordered it. And uh, so I just uh, got in the mail and now I'm going to open it up for all of you to, to look and see for yourselves. And I've been looking forward to this. this is a, well, you'll see for yourself in a second. So let me slice it open and you can take a peek. Mike has thoughtfully mailed it in one of these really handy and uh, protective Gemini mailers for comic books. Ah. So let me, there we go. I think that's it. Yep, there we go. Rock. All right, now let's see what we can see. Ooh. Gemini comic supplies. There we go. This is it. Boom. Magnificent Seven. This is a Trump parody comic book called The Magnificent Seven. And it's basically a super team of Trump supporters comprised of various famous people. You got uh, Dean Cain, who used to play Superman, and Lois and Clark. You have Lois, <laughs> Lois. <laughs> you have Laura Ingram, um, the Fox News uh, analyst. Uh, here you have uh, <laughs> Tucker Carlson, another Fox News analyst. You have Rush Limbaugh, radio uh, commentator. You have uh, uh, who is that? That's uh, ah, Savage. Um, can't remember his first name. Uh, you have Steven Crowder, you have uh, Ben Shapiro, and then you have Porter Black Garrett, who Steven Crowder is a sort of sidekick on his on his uh, YouTube um, blog cast. So, uh, and then you got Donald Trump, the uh, the now former president of the United States. So let me crack it open. It's, it, it was a pretty, Mike came up with this, uh, you know, sometime last year. And uh, if you go to his channel, if you go to Black Lives Universe, you can see the the live streams of Mike drawing this comic book live uh, for everyone. It's pretty cool. Um, let me open it up. Got a lot of extras in here too. Ooh, cool. Yay. <clears throat> let me open it carefully. So, all right. They got a bunch of stuff in here. Let me look at it. Let me move this closer so it doesn't all slide off my desk. <clears throat> you got a Lone Star sticker for Mike's comic book, Lone Star. If you haven't already bought it, you should go to LoneStarComic.com and uh, order Lone Star. It's a very good comic book. Uh, I think uh, Mike is working on a third issue right now. And uh, basically it's a sort of a uh, Captain America um, type character who fights vampires and monsters. So it's a very cool comic book. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, got another sticker here. Which is another Lone Star sticker. This is the emblem that Lone Star wears on his on his T-shirts. Very cool. Nice. You got ooh. You got the amphibious bulk, which is a character in the Magnificent Seven, the comic book that I'm about to uh, show you. And this is by Elliot Fernandez, another great comic book artist, who also has another who also has his own comic book that he is uh, working on right now. It's called. Um, Oh boy. Oh, can't remember. I'll put a link to all the all these comic books in the description below. So make sure to to, to check the description for Elliot's uh, book. But he's a great artist. Um oh, here's a card from Siege. Um Oshana Chain. Oshana Chain. Siege Oshana Chain. And uh she's another artist. And this is her drawing of Laura Ingram as the Ingraham Ingrahammer. Very cool. 
Oh, neat. Here's, is this by, oh, this is by Kelsey Shannon. This is uh, El Rushbo, the Rush Limbaugh character. <clears throat> and, uh, ooh, oh man, very cool. A lot of cool stuff in this, besides the comic book itself. Um, got some more stickers by Elliot Fernandez. Very nice. You got Trump. You got Quarter Black Garrett. You got um, Deadhead. The uh, um, uh, not Rush Limbaugh, but a Tucker Carlson character, Ingram Hammer. Is that? Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. This one, this small one, is done by I believe Matthew Weldon. Um, this is again Elliot, and this one is this court. This is um. This is the uh, Stephen Crowder character, but I can't. Who, who drew that? Maybe Mike drew that. Maybe, maybe Mike uh, Mike S. Miller drew that. So this is a combination of a, a bunch of different artists on one sticker sheet. So, very cool. And uh, again, all from this comic book, Magnificent Seven. All right, here is a. <clears throat> oh, nice, nice little. Um, Norman Rockwell take off of various comic book characters from uh, I guess uh, what was originally originally Comicscape but they've sort of many of them have separated since then so um, that's cool this is by Mike Miller I think yeah this is by Mike Miller yeah cool 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 you got Lone Star you got Cecil you got uh, who's this this is uh, the brand villain this is um one of the characters from uh, John Malin's um, um, Graveyard Shift, Cyber Frog. Don't know who that is. That's Red Rooster. Where's my chicken book, Mitch? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, um, that's a. Uh, leader of um uh what is uh your boy zach's team can't remember and various other characters in here so cool 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 very nice what is this <clears throat> it's just a card okay and then you got what is this this is this is weird what is this it seems like a sticker but i, I don't know this is uh mike miller's comic book company blacklist but i don't know what this is what is this it, it seems to have like some faint ribbing you can kind of see it in the light here this sort of horizontal ribbing but i don't know what it's for it's not a sticker so much i don't know what it is i'll have to ask him maybe it's an iron on i don't i don't know hmm. anyway looks cool anyway let me get to the comic book itself magnificent seven Let's see, we got some uh, reviews on the back here. Ah, one from Dean Kane. I'm still laughing. Great wit in this thing. Very cool. That's nice. Let's see, got something from Kelsey Shannon, artist. Ah, Ben Shapiro says LMAO. He seemed to like it. And uh, Don Chin, uh, the creator of uh, X Farce, says Mike's MAGA 7 story is clever, political satire, and his artwork is amazing as always. Okay, cool. Very cool. All right, now here's the cover, as I pointed out before, and basically this 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 comic book is um again this was written before the election, and uh, the uh, the conceit with this comic book is that Donald Trump has won re-election, and and because of that, the uh, the far left or you know the left in general has is now plotting or continuing to plot against him since they uh since their previous efforts to uh, destroy Donald Trump have failed. They continue to conspire against him, and leading that conspiracy is um, this, this, this troll, this monster here, George Soros. Um, and he is plotting... Oh, is he, in, in here it's called the uh, Sor Sorosian. Sorosian? I, the Sorosian, control the mainstream media. So, um, you know, uh, Mike's using various people from, you know, real life and turning them into characters for this comic book. And, uh, you know, here you have the George Soros character, you know, sort of controlling 
the media. You have uh, Anderson Cooper there. Who else do you have? You have various, various, uh, you know, left wing um, commentators and and crazies. Um, yeah, here's some guys. You know, oh, this is pe- mostly peaceful protests while buildings are burning behind them and stuff. And um, yeah, so he's 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 a he's a spider in the middle of the of the media web. Uh, and oh, <laughs> here's a funny part. Like underneath them, there's like a bunch of children in cages. So <laughs> I think I guess he's gonna eat them later. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. But um, but here you have uh, Donald Trump taking his oath of office again. Whoops, can you see that? You can't see it because I'm, I have it off the camera. Um, here he's taking his oath, uh, oath of office. Everybody's there, and then uh, and then his uh, his reelection has caused um, a triggering among the left. And they're all sort of like in um, the 1970s version of uh, Invasion of the Bias Snatchers. They all start screeching like, bad, and here's Nancy Pelosi. And then you have all the rest of them. You have Chuck Schumer. You got uh, Bernie Sanders. You got Hillary. You got Obama. You got down here, you have AOC. And they're all screeching, orange man, bad. And then they all sort of congeal into one monolithic monster because they're all of a hive mind, not individuals anymore. And they just become one ugly far left monster that just repeats bad. And so they try to destroy Trump. Dean Cain saves them. And uh, and then Dean Cain calls in the Magnificent Seven with his special decoder, decoder watch and then uh, all, all seven of them, or the six of them, plus Dean Cain, they all come to the rescue. You got um, Rush Limbaugh, Stephen Crowder, Laura Ingram. You got little short uh, Ben Shapiro. You got Tucker Carlson. And then you got, um, what's his name? I can't, it, it, his last name's Savage. It's um, da- Dan. It's not Dan Savage. I can't remember his, his first name. But uh, they all come to the rescue. And turn into various superheroes. You got Rush Limbaugh turn into El Rushbo, sort of a Zorro copy. You got um, Steven Crowder turning into Strange Animal, sort of a, uh, I guess, saber tooth type character. And then you got his little quarterback, <laughs> quarter black Garrett turning into quarter black quarterback. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, you know, TV host Laura Ingram turning into the Ingrahammer. Sort of a Thor knockoff. And then you have uh, Ben Shapiro turning into Chap Hero, who is a super speedster. Which is pretty cool. Who else is in here? You have, um, ah. Tucker Carlson turning into Deadhead, sort of the uh, Ghost Rider uh, character, and then you have uh, you have Doctor Savage turning into Doctor Savage with his special, uh, I guess, uh, botany powers because I think he has a PhD in botany or something. So they all come together in a superhero team. Blah 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 blah. Very cool, cool stuff. And then, uh, and then finally, you have Dean Kane, who doesn't have any powers at this point. But then they they join together and give him powers, and uh, and turn him into the American Avenger, with this this really cool sort of Superman type outfit, which looks very good on Dean Kane since he since he plays Superman. So that's awesome. And uh, oh, cool. And then he leads them. To fight for truth, justice, and the American way as they fight this evil leftist meltdown that has that is attacking Trump supporters and the president. And uh, yeah, so the rest of the rest of the comic book is just there this big epic battle between all of them, where they're all sort of fighting and working together to take down this monstrosity, save America. Oh, Rush Limbaugh shows up. There he is, and he turns into the amphibious bulk. 
trying to keep the, the frogs from being gay. <laughs> so this, I mean, obviously this is like one big crazy parody. Um, and it's, it's a good book. Um, you know, it's, uh, I got the PDF a while back, read it, it looked good. Um, and it, and it was funny. It's a very funny parody, but, um, yeah, I encourage everybody to check it out. You can still buy this. This is, uh, on, uh, you think you can get it at maga7.com, M-A-G-A-7.com. And, uh, you know, just click, just go there and then you'll be able to buy copies of this and Mike will send them out to you and everything. And, uh, like I said, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a funny parody and it's not, not actually, it's not too far from the truth because even though, even though, uh, you know, Joe Biden is president now, the left have not stopped melting down and they're still attacking Donald Trump even after he's left office. So, uh, yeah, this is actually pretty, uh, pretty apropos to, uh, to what, what's going on even without Trump being president. So the left are still going crazy, still trying to destroy anyone associated with Trump or, you know, Trump himself or his family, you know, the, uh, demonetizing and, uh, sort of trying to cancel them on social media, you know, across the board, uh, canceling, uh, book deals or, um, you know, corporate deals because you happen to support Trump. So, you know, if you're a Trump supporter, you might like this. If you're not a Trump supporter, you might like it too, because it's kind of funny. And, uh, you know, if you have a good sense of humor, you'll enjoy this book. But anyway, that's that's my unboxing of Magnificent Seven, and uh, I hope uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. And uh, oh yeah, if you haven't already, please uh, check out my my new website. I'll put a link to that below as well. Um, I just redesigned it uh, a few yeah, a few weeks ago, and uh, yeah, check it out. You can uh, order uh, yeah commission drawings. Or, um, you know, just check out my work and see what I do for a living, okay? Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell for notifications for future videos. And make sure to give this live stream a thumbs up. Even though it's not a live stream, it is a <laughs> it's an actual video. Um, but, yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And uh, comment below if you would. Let me know your thoughts on Magnificent 7. Commenting really helps the algorithm with uh, YouTube and helps push this uh, video for other people to see. So I encourage everybody to, to subscribe, hit the bell, and make sure to comment below, okay? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, you guys take care. Have a great day. Bye. Two weeks later. Special update. I just got another package in the mail from Mike S. Miller. And I think this just might be another copy of the MAGA Magnificent 7. Uh, originally, I ordered... Uh, MAGA 7 from Mike back in, I think, July, whenever he first uh, had the had the campaign. But uh, for whatever reason, he got, got lost in the shuffle, never got it. So I, I just emailed Mike, let him know. And he sent me a package, um, which I thought would be Magnificent 7, but it ended up being Lone Star instead. So, uh, you know, slight mistake, but um, I let Mike know. He sent me... An, another i bought it i ended up buying another copy of maga 7 um you know just so i have a copy and that's what i opened last time but i think <laughs> this time uh this might be the original book i ordered the original copy which would be awesome um because i can't think of what else it might be i don't i don't think it's uh i do not think that it is uh uh monster hunt 2 yet i, I don't know i don't think that's been printed but uh this might be another MAGA-7, in which case I would be very happy. But, uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out together. So, it's a special update. Alright. Oh, yes, and it is MAGA-7. It's my original copy that I ordered. So, <laughs> thank you very much, Mike. Very cool. Um, you are, you are a true mensch and, uh, you, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Awesome. And again, this has all the cool stuff that the, that the, um, copy that was earlier in the video had. I just have a second copy of it now. So thank you very much, Mike, Mike S. Miller. Everybody, if you haven't already, you should go, go to MAGA7.com, order this book, go to LoneStarComics.com and order Lone Star 
and uh, you should also order Monster Hunt. And I'll put links to all those uh, all those books in the description below. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for watching this this uh, this video. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Please comment below, and uh, make sure to hit the bell for notifications of future videos. Okay, thank you very much, guys. You can take care. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye.